up you guys it's Dustin and I am back with another video this video is going to be a little bit different than things that I normally put on this channel because I have never covered anything in the wrestling realm and to be quite honest I have not followed wrestling in a good number of years it used to be a part of my childhood I feel like there is a lot of people that grew up in America that love wrestling it's kind of like somewhat of a tradition when you're a kid you watch wrestling and back when I was a kid it was WWF and because of my interest in loosely following it through my adult life I want to talk about what's going on with Vince McMahon as well as many other people that were named in this lawsuit yeah! what? Now before we get into this, I do have a few announcements that I would like to tell you guys. I have been asked several times if I have a P.O. box. Nick and I do have a P.O. box now. It is linked in the description box. And by no means necessary do you guys need to feel inclined to send me anything. We just opened this P.O. box because there was a ton of people requesting it. So we'll see how that goes. If you guys send us anything, we will unbox it in our videos on one of our channels. Now the second announcement for this video is I know how the McMahons are. You do not play with them. Everything in this is alleged. Again, this is a lawsuit. This is allegations. These are not facts and everything in this video should not be taken taken as a fact because it has not went through the court process and nobody knows what the outcome is going to be as of now this lawsuit was just filed last month so if you guys are here for that stay tuned to this video Now, in this video, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be reading an article. I'm going to link it in the description box down below because I really don't know everything that has went into this. I feel safer reading an article and actually reacting to it because I do know some of the things that have went on because this is something that Nick has been following closely. So with all of those disclaimers, let's just go ahead and get into this. Now, this article is written by NBC News. The title of it is Former WWE Employee Accuses Vince McMahon of Abuse SA and trafficking in lawsuit. Janelle Grant, a former employee of WWE, filed the suit Thursday in a federal district court in Connecticut. Now, this is dated January 25th, 2024 at 3.24 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And again, this will be linked in the description box below. So the article goes on to say, a former World Wrestling Entertainment employee filed a lawsuit Thursday against the company, its founder, Vince McMahon, and former WWE executives accusing them of S trafficking and abuse. And this to me is honestly crazy because when this started coming out and Nick started telling me about it, I was really shook. I didn't think anything like this was going on, especially given since this show and all of this stuff is geared toward children, I would have never have thought that this would be going on in the background that this many people would be coming forward some of the allegations that are in this thing are absolutely crazy ashley massaro i believe her name is that is just truly heartbreaking to me what they did to that girl today's complaint seeks to hold accountable two wwe executives who essayed and trafficked plaintiff janelle grant as well as the organization that facilitated or turned a blind eye to the abuse and then swept it under the rug and callis an attorney for grant said in a statement to nbc news she is an incredibly private and courageous person who has suffered deeply at the hands of mr mcmahon and mr laurinaitis now if you follow wrestling you probably know who mr laurinaitis is he is the stepfather to the bella twins. I'm going to be talking about them a little bit later in this video because they actually put out a statement regarding this whole thing. Callis said Grant hopes the lawsuit will prevent other women from being victimized. A spokesperson for McMahon said the lawsuit is replete with lies, obscene made-up instances that never occurred, and vindictive distortion of the truth. He will vigorously defend himself, and that's exactly why I put the disclaimer I did in this video, because I know that the McMahons do not play when it comes to their name. They will sue you. They will sue you. They will sue you. But with that said, I believe that there were other instances and other lawsuits in the past where there was some kind of payoffs and things like that took place. And I could report on that if you guys are interested in it. I just wanted to dip my toe in with this article because this right here is a mess. I didn't want to mess up anything and get anything wrong. So if anything is wrong in this video, it is from this article. In a statement, a spokesperson for WWE's parent company, TKO Group Holdings, said, Mr. McMahon does not control TKO, nor does he oversee the day-to-day -day operations of WWE. While this matter predates our TKO executive team's tenure at the company, we take Ms. Grant's horrific allegations very seriously and are addressing this matter internally. I believe it was right before this was filed or right after this was filed, Vince McMahon actually stepped down from the company. I could be a little bit wrong on that if you guys know let me know down below but I believe that he had stepped down and then he came back and now he has stepped down again. John Laurinaitis the other former executive named in the lawsuit did not immediately respond for a request for comment. That is sketchy to me. The lawsuit includes accusations of S trafficking, civil battery, intentional or negligent infliction of emotional distress and negligence. Girl that is a lot. Now, what we're about to get into, because I have pre-read this article, it's going to get a little bit dark. So if you are easily triggered, 
Now is your warning. I just want to let you know, because some of the things that we're going to get in here, I am going to have to censor. You're going to have to read between the lines. It could upset some people, so you've been warned. According to the lawsuit, Grant met McMahon in March of 2019 while he was the company's chief executive, and he engaged in career-making and life-changing promises while engaging in increasingly inappropriate behavior toward her. Now, we've seen things like this happen in the media before with famous people, specifically James Charles. We've talked about like power dynamics and how people can make or break people, and they use that to get things out of people and extort them and get them to do things that they may not necessarily want to do. That is what they are alleging happened here. McMahon allegedly pushed Grant for a physical relationship in exchange for promised employment at WWE. The lawsuit said adding that she felt trapped in an impossible situation where she could either submit to his demands or face ruin. Imagine working with someone that has that much power and them dangling this carrot just to get things out of you and to manipulate you and things like that. That is emotional warfare to me. That is so sick and gross. Miss Grant feared she had everything to lose and face negative consequences no matter what happened according to the lawsuit. So she's basically saying that she was between a rock and a hard place like it was either her career, Vince McMahon, or she just loses everything. That's a difficult situation to be in and that's what people with power do because they hope that you have no other options. They're hoping that you'll just submit to what they want you to do so they can continue going on doing horrible things. The lawsuit said that Grant eventually entered into a physical relationship with McMahon and was given employment at the WWE. Now, if you know anything about Vince McMahon or you followed wrestling for any amount of time, you would know that Vince is married to Linda and Linda McMahon does not F around. That lady actually scares me for some reason. Despite Miss Grant's expressions of unhappiness and attempts to end the relationship and while she came to understand that McMahon expected the physical relationship to continue as part of her employment gross. She had no idea how sordid it would become, nor how the physiological torture and physical violence would leave her feeling helpless, isolated, and trapped, the lawsuit said. With everything that I've been through, this is kind of triggering to me because I can relate to this. I'm not going to say I've been in a very similar situation, but I have been in a situation where somebody holds money over your head or they'll manipulate you to get you to do things that you may not necessarily want to do, so I feel for this person. The lawsuit alleges that in 2020, McMahon began sharing explicit photographs and videos of Grant with unnamed men inside and outside of the wrestling company. Can you imagine, like, we've seen this with, like, Colleen Ballinger and things like that, where she's sending pictures to minors and stuff, but we have a man that is a mogul that has this huge business that is known worldwide, allegedly sharing photographs of one of his employees. That is deluded. That is sick. That is just vile. Because McMahon was CEO of WWE at the time and Grant had an entry-level position at the company, coercion was inherent in his increasingly depraved sexual demands, the lawsuit said. McMahon allegedly recruited others to have sexual relations with Grant, including with Laurinaitis. Grant was expected to engage in sexual activity at the WWE headquarters, sometimes during working hours, the suit said. The lawsuit alleges that McMahon and Laurinaitis essayed Grant inside of Laurinaitis's office as she begged them to stop while other colleagues were busy at their desk. So what this person is saying is, all of this was happening and there was people around that didn't speak up and didn't offer any kind of help to her. And if you have a toxic work environment like that, if this is going on, imagine what else is possibly going on. Grant also claims in the lawsuit that others at WWE knew what was going on but actively sought to conceal the wrongdoing. That sounds very familiar. Grant said in the lawsuit that she lost her employment at the company after McMahon said his wife had found out about their relationship in January of 2022 and that he put her under immense pressure to sign a non-disclosure agreement that would prevent Grant from talking about the sexual misconduct. Now, we've seen things like this in the past, and there have been allegations made about all kinds of different people and social media influencers having people sign non-disclosure agreements after something illegal has taken place. And I just want to let you know that a non-disclosure agreement does not protect people from illegal activities. It does not. So if you're watching this video right now and you've had somebody try to force you into an NDA and they have done something illegal to you or they're trying to conceal that they have done something illegal, Run, don't walk to an attorney and the police because that is illegal. She eventually signed the NDA in exchange for payments, which McMahon later stopped making the lawsuit alleges. The suit did not give details on the amount or frequency of said payments. So if this is true and this is included in this lawsuit, they would have to provide some kind of receipt, some kind of documentation to prove that there were payments being made for Mr. McMahon. That 
to me is an admission of guilt 100%. And like I just said previously, just maybe a couple of minutes ago, you know that Linda McMahon does not play. She probably had Vince McMahon in a headlock and roughed him up a little bit. The lawsuit is seeking to void the NDA as well as compensatory and punitive damages. The lawsuit alleges that even after she was pushed out of the company, McMahon attempted to traffic her to an unnamed WWE star in March of 2022. So we have him doing all this in the office, allegedly with John Laurinaitis. We have him doing this outside of that with another person at another place. That's scary. Do you guys realize how big the WWE is and how far they reach and globally where they go and how they travel? And we have somebody accusing them of human trafficking. Let that sink in. This is scary. The alleged abuse and predatory behavior has left Miss Grant crippled both physically and mentally, and she suffers with debilitating symptoms of post-traumatic stress disorder, the lawsuit said. WWE is alleged to have attempted to sweep the matter under the rug following media reports of McMahon's involvement in a hush money payment scandal announcing a special committee or its board of directors to investigate the alleged misconduct, the lawsuit said. And this isn't shocking. Usually when things like this happen, there's always going to be a cover-up. There's always going to be somebody out there trying to cover their tracks to get away with the dirt that they've done and hurting other people is just sick. And for this to be such a big televised company, I think more people need to know about this. Grant alleged that the special committee never interviewed her or requested any documents, despite Grant saying she would cooperate according to the lawsuit. Miss Grant was groomed and coerced by McMahon and Laurinaitis, and the WWE stood by and facilitated efforts to keep Miss Grant employed by WWE to ensure McMahon's continual exploitation, the lawsuit said. World Wrestling Entertainment said last year that McMahon, also a majority shareholder, would be reinstated to the company's board. McMahon had initially stepped down as CEO in 2022 after an investigation found that he paid nearly $15 million to four women over 16 years to quiet claims of sexual misconduct. This is what I was talking about before. The fact that there's previous allegations and previous accusations that he was allegedly paying people. It's not looking very good for you, Vince McMahon. I'm I'm here to tell you, like, if there's facts and evidence to support all of this on top of everything that you've already done and been accused of, ooh. Even during his leave, McMahon maintained control over the company as a majority shareholder. In November's regulatory filing, WWE said, Mr. McMahon can effectively exercise control over our affairs. And that is the end of the article. It is kind of vague. It kind of just puts out the allegations. I want to see if I could pull up this lawsuit. It is probably available. And if I can find it, I would love to make a video on that. I'm not really good with legal jargon, but I can read between the lines if I have to. But I want to know what you guys think about this. Do you watch wrestling? Were you aware of any of this? Did you know that there was previous allegations of Vince McMahon paying off people to keep their mouth shut. And did you know anything about this lawsuit that was just filed last month? I don't know. This is all just really alarming to me. The fact that my childhood with like Hulk Hogan, Eddie Guerrero, Rey Mysterio, X-Pac and China and all these people, I want to know if they were privy to any of this going on or if they even may have suffered through something like this themselves. This is alarming to me. And I feel like there needs to be way more people talking about this. But if you made it this far in this video, leave me the wrestling emoji down below. Obviously, we're talking about wrestling here. Don't forget to let me know your thoughts and opinions as well. And if you would like me to dig further into this, if you would like me to possibly do a deep dive, I would be more than happy to do that. Let me know down below. Like this video if you like this video. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye, guys.